Hello Virgo and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading for Virgo for 2019. Make sure to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. I've also done the love and work readings and I will put those into playlists and link it at the end of the video so that you can watch them. I have put the decks that I'm using in the description box as well. And I put links to Amazon and eBay so you can buy these decks if you, if you like. If you would like a personal reading, please email me. I've put my email address and my website details in the description box. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with um, January. Um, I've uh, drawn up four cards for you. One is an energy card. One is an archetypal card to say how you will react in the situation. The other one is a um, tarot card and then we have a angel card for um, advice. So the first one is surrender. So any kind of problems that you're uh, experiencing during January, you're going to just have to go with the flow and let things happen naturally. The second one is warrior, which says uh, you have the strength and the discipline to cope with this particular problem. Uh, there might actually be some kind of thing that you need to sacrifice. So you might need to have to give up something in order for you to make your dreams come true. Then you've got the four of swords over here, which is um, Jupiter in Libra. And this is showing that there is some kind of partnership coming. It's also showing that it's a time for you to rest, take it easy. So uh, you, you need to share the burdens with somebody because you've been taking too much of pressure on your own shoulders. So you need to actually share this responsibility with somebody and take a little bit of a break. So delegate where you need to or ask for assistance where you need to. And the last one is the Ten of Water, which says a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met trustworthy relationships so there is some good partnership coming over there in january and um, it's going to take the workload off your shoulders but it is also a time where you rest and it's going to be a time where there's ends an end of emotional problems so you know it's it's a time for you to heal uh, spiritual healing with the ten of water to let go of any kind of problems that you had in 2018 and relax uh, see it as the beginning of a new year so in February, we've got um, personal growth happening for you and you've got uh, the eternal child, um, which says that uh, you must um, see things with new eyes. So it's very important to look at things from a different point of view during this month. And this is the way that you have personal growth. And um, you've got the king of cups coming in. Uh, which is uh, somebody that you will be consulting with, um, probably a father figure, it might be a, a counselor, somebody that you seek some kind of advice for. So you might be getting uh, some kind of um, counseling happening uh, where you go or, and ask somebody for help and advice to get you through. Because it's the green man, you can see there's a lot of growth as well coming in over there. So really, it, it, this seems to be a month of contemplation and you've got the Knight of Air, which says uh, occur, uh, things that occur with great speed. Take time to caref carefully review your options uh, and creative solutions. So you are um, making things happen. There is uh, some kind of communication coming with, in for you with this um, Knight of Air. And you're going to be able to find some solutions to problems. So it really is a, a month of personal grow and growth, contemplation, and really sorting through problems. This Knight of Air is actually sorting through problems cutting out things that they uh, are not um, serving them. And this King of Cups is somebody that you will uh, be asking for advice from as well. And that's going on in February. <coughs> in March, you've got Follow Your Dreams. And uh, you've got the Seeker. So both cards of uh, looking for wisdom. Following your dreams um, and a thirst for wisdom, a truth, whatever they are. So there might be some study coming in in um March or uh, just generally trying to find the answers or solutions to your problems. You've got the three of swords over here. There might be somebody that you uh, 
decide to cut out of your life with um, Saturn in Libra. So it's some kind of relationship that you actually sever. It might be a work relationship because it's got Saturn involved in over here. But whoever it is, you um, they're not serving you. There, there might be three people that you actually interact with that you decide that you're going to cut out of your life. And you're trying to seek some kind of balance. There might be a, a, some kind of legal issue that comes in in um, uh, March. That means that you end up, uh, you know, um, breaking up ties with these people based on some legality that you go through. So uh, you've got the five of water over here and things not turning out the, uh, as you hoped, uh, not seeing the positive in the situation and crying over spilt milk. So you've got the three of swords and the five of water. So this is like the five of um, cups. Uh, so whatever separation you have, whatever people give you um, a lot of heartache, you're going to cut them out, but you're going to be very, very upset um, of about doing that the five of cups there are three cups lying on the ground here so these are three people that you were very emotionally attached to and with the three of swords you're cutting them out there seems to be some legal matter involved with them uh, you're very upset about it uh, and with this five of cups you're actually almost grieving that you've lost uh, the friendships with them so a little bit of uh, upset coming over there and maybe this is the reason why you're seeking answers maybe some truth has come to light in March about these people since you've got the seeker card over here and um, maybe they're against you doing whatever you want to do so it, it seems like you end up uh, severing ties with them but it is something that leaves you a bit emotionally distraught so in April we've got um, financial discipline there you're taking uh, control again of your life you've got the shapeshifter card and this is um, a card about going through situations, uh, basically following your gut instincts and going through it and, uh, you know, looking for um, ways and means of um, solutions to your problems. Um, you see, so the ability to see the potential in everything. So you're looking for different kinds of solutions and you're uh, um, going through all your options to decide how you're going to proceed forward. And that's happening in April. You've got um, the judgment card, so there might, might be a judgment coming on a legal situation. It seemed like in March there was something legal going on. You can't see the man with the scales there. So there was some kind of judgment that was pending uh, due to these three people causing problems or people causing problems in your life. And it seems like in April uh, a judgment is passed. Something um, comes to light or some judgment is made and this uh, allows you to emerge from the situation you can see this angel emerging from all this fire so it's almost going like uh, through a cleansing of fire in um in april but it allows you to emerge and walk a different path uh, so you are changing path pathways correct um completely with this judgment card and uh you know something happens where you have kind of a problem with these people a judgment seems to be passed and you emerge victorious but on a you know a very changed person and um doing something completely different if you've got the moon here so important psychic insights events uh, behind the scenes uh, release fears that hold you back so things happening beyond your control really in April, um, there seems to be some kind of decision that is made, but it is for your benefit because you do emerge victorious. Uh, try not to get depressed or feel like you're tied up. Uh, it is a time that you're going to be a bit emotional in April, uh, maybe um, you know, looking at the past, maybe not sleeping very, very well during those times. Uh, but just aware that this is coming up and try not to let um, anything get you down. So try and be positive. Um, and follow your psychic insights uh, in anything you're doing in April. In May, you've got communication, so that's opening up for you. And um, try to relax um, and start enjoying things around you. So you need to uh, leave behind whatever happened in, in April and um, try to appreciate the things that you have that remain in uh, in May. So anything, you know, start in, trying to enjoy yourself, appreciate what what you're good at, appreciate, you know, go out uh, and enjoy um, life really uh, in May. You've got the Eight of Cups, so this is abandoning uh, whatever uh, was not serving you. So whatever happened in March with these people and then a the judgment coming up in April, in May you need to actually walk away from the situation. So although you thought it was something uh, very, very stable, it seems like it, you need to abandon it. Um, you know, maybe they were very supportive of, supportive of you, but you need to go down your own path uh, in May. And this is... Um, 
uh, it might be involving your work situation, um, but it is definitely the end of that cycle with these people. Um, you've got um, Saturn sitting in uh, Pisces over here, so it is something that you have to put an end to and walk away from it. Maybe they did give you this emotional fulfillment. You can see all these people are carrying cups here, but you've got to take your own cup and walk, and walk down your own path. You've got the Knight of Fire coming in, so a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things uh, through clearly. So uh, while you're abandoning all this, maybe a new, um, you might end up moving uh, or changing jobs. With this Knight of Fire, which is the Knight of Wands, usually talks about uh, changing jobs or changing home, a home move uh, to go and work somewhere else. And since you've got Saturn in Pisces, it seems like there might be an end of a job situation and you moving on to something else. Uh, whatever um, offer comes in with this Knight of Wands, it's going to be very, very sudden and it's going to mean that you're going to make this decisions very, very quickly in May. So in June, we've got healing from whatever happened. So the first few months uh, are particularly difficult months. Um, but by June, you start getting yourself together again and start healing. Now, you've got the Pioneer card over here, which says passion for doing and creating what has to be done, what has not been done before. So you're on a new path. You've uh, started this new path in May, and now you've become this pioneer, somebody who starts something and starts moving forward, and you're doing something brand new that has not been done by people. And in the meantime, it's giving you this uh, healing. You've also got the Star, which is a healing card as well. And, uh, you know, it's, um, it's almost also a divine guidance card. You're going to be inspired to do something that's going to be very beneficial for you spiritually and also beneficial for you emotionally um, with the star card. Then you've got the Ten of Earth, so it looks like, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, the Ten of Earth usually talks about the closure of cycles, um, that involves maybe family or um, a, a job. So something new that has come in. Because you're a pioneer, you've ended an old cycle in work. You've ended an old cycle maybe where you lived. Uh, but definitely new money will follow this card. So uh, you're ending off things as far as maybe your work goes and you're starting off something brand new. So this is the beginning, ending of old cycles um, happening in June and the beginning of uh, a new one. Um, coming as well and you've got healing that is going on uh, simultaneously this is happening in June so big change coming up for you in June now in July you've got um, psych uh, physical activity so you're going to be pretty busy doing things you've got the God card over here so you've got benevolence and compassion recognizing the eternal force within you and others so you're drawing a lot uh, on your inner belief system um, there in um, July to sort things out and maybe you're doing a lot of prayers maybe um, you're uh, contacting your higher self but you're definitely getting to be more spiritual you've got the three of pentacles over here so a lot of concentration of work so you started something new in june you ended an old cycle and the new cycle is now started where you've got mars in capricorn over here so you're concentrating a lot on your work um, in july and a lot of money coming in, there will be a lot of recognition that comes in. There might be some world travel that comes in as well. But you're definitely working very, very hard and getting to the top here. You've got the Knight of Water as well coming in. So falling in love, wedding proposals, the need to balance emotions and invitation. So you might be meeting somebody as well uh, during July that is uh, very, very supportive uh, and gives you that emotional um, shoulder to cry on or uh, you know emotional support that you need this could also with the night of water it's also talking about maybe studying or new information coming in for you um, that you need to um, will make you very happy uh, getting involved in a new situation so it's something that um, in this uh, it's either brought in by a person or it's it's an energy that comes in that makes you feel a lot better than you have been feeling and it shows that you've been healing from all this emotional upheaval that you went on in the first six months of the year so in august you've got um domestic harmony so it looks like maybe you uh, start a relationship it could well be a relationship with this knight of water uh, but there's definitely domestic harmony uh, coming in and you've got um, 
artist over here so here you are expressing a lot of everything that you've learned and you are working much better whatever you're doing uh, in August whatever new thing that you've started uh, allows you to express yourself a lot and there's an artistic component to it um, that um, you know allows you to expand beyond uh, what is expected of you. So uh, really enjoying your work. You've got the Six of Wands over here, so there's a lot of victory coming as well. You've got um, Jupiter here in Leo, a lot of recognition. You can see a lot of people bowing to this man walking through uh, with the um, lion and the donkey. And you can see he's got um, that Jupiter in his hand. So everything is up to you to make things expand but you've got you're very victorious uh with this jupiter in leo uh, like i said a lot of people have a lot of recognition for what you've done so whatever new concepts that you brought or introduced in june seems to pay off um here in august uh, and a lot of people giving you that um that recognition that you've been deserving. You've got the four of air, and a four is about stability, but it's also time to take a rest. So you've been working pretty hard, and um, it's also um, a time that uh, you know you need to heal from any kind of illness. If you have any kind of physical illness or any kind of stress-related illness, it is a time for you to take a holiday, take a break. So uh, definitely, um, you know, go off, take a little bit of a trip, and rethink whatever you've been doing as well. In September, you've got. Uh, Parenting coming along, uh, prostitutes, uh, five of cups, and the seven of cups. So with parenting, if you have children, you'll be maybe hearing from them or dealing with certain problems involved with them. If you don't have children, you might be uh, acting as a parent kind of figure for somebody else's children, or else you could have um, interactions with your own parents where uh, the issues of parenting become, uh, you know, uh, brought to light. So something to do with that kind of uh, parent-child relationship uh, energy coming in. You've got the prostitute card which says that uh, you must have um, good negotiating power. So it's not about being a prostitute, it's just about make sure that you are getting uh, your full worth as far as your money goes. So whatever work you're doing, whatever new um, job you're doing, you might be negotiating a pay rise or negotiating um, getting a promotion during this month. And make sure that you are getting what you are worth. Do not make, don't let yourself be underpaid. Don't um, underestimate your value. You are quite valuable. You've bought in something, brought in something very new and it hasn't been done before. So make sure you are getting full worth of your money, full worth of your uh, skills as well. So you've got the Five of Cups over here. There's a little bit of disappointment coming over here. You've got the Mars in Scorpio. Um, so there's a bit of heartbreak over here. Maybe something happens. Uh, maybe you don't get exactly what you want and that leaves you a bit upset and disappointed in it. So when you are negotiating, uh, ma since it's following this um, card here, uh, with money make sure that you are negotiating well don't settle for less because if you do settle for less uh, of your value you're going to feel as though you've been let down and you're going to feel feel very very depressed about it so make sure you ask for the for the maximum about of what you are worth don't underestimate your value you've got the seven of fire and that is about defending yourself defend your beliefs and decisions stand up stand your ground and choose your battles wisely so you're going to have to fight for your value really in September. If you're worth so much as far as finance goes, make sure you are getting what you're worth. Also, um, if if you're in a relationship, make sure you are fighting for the worth or your value within that relationship. Realize your worth. This is a month in September for you to realize that you are a very valuable person and uh, you know maybe you've been selling yourself short all this time and not having the confidence to act. Now with the seven of fire, you need to stand up for what you believe and um, and make sure that you're getting the, your true value. People need to see who you are and need to realize that you are very important and very valuable. So in September, really, uh, you know, fighting and be confident, stand up for your ground. Now in October, you've got the card of new beginnings. So something new coming in over here. So maybe a promotion coming in for you with a new beginning. You've stood up for yourself in September. You get your value. And here you're in October, you have a new beginning coming in for you. An engineer showing that you are working really, really hard. Um, I found this card to be um, 
almost ruled by uh, Mercury. So this is coming into your own, working very hard, the ability to give creative energy to practical expression, a talent for designing resolutions to common dilemmas. So you're sorting out a lot of problems within your work situation and you're very being very, very smart at it. You might be multitasking during uh, this particular time. Uh, it's something very, very technical with this engineer card and uh, you're working pretty hard at it. Then you've got the Eight of Pentacles. There you can see your card, Virgo, and you're very focused on your work uh, and you're fixing problems. So with these two cards, you're going to be very focused on your work and sorting out a lot of difficulties and a lot of problems. You'll be working to deadlines, but there is a lot of recognition coming in as well. And it might be long hours that you will be working. You see this man's working pretty long hours. You're also quite expert at your field over here. Um, so a lot of people coming to you for uh, answers and solutions. So you'll be working very, very hard in October and you've got the three of fire over here abundance things look very good have patience at this time make long-term plans <coughs> Excuse me. So it looks like you might be working within a team uh, in um, October. Maybe you're heading this team and you're very focused on it. You're sorting out a whole bunch of problems over here. And this might be uh, maybe, you know, it might be in a management position because this is a new beginning. So it's a, you know, um, since you've been applying for something, it seems in September, you get it and you're in charge of this team and you're very work. You're working very, very hard and very, very focused on your work in October. So in November, we've got moderation, saboteur, um, the page of cups, and you've got the chariot card over here. So it, it looks like you need to find some balance. This is 14 and 14 also is about temperance. Uh, you need to find balance, get advice from people, uh, make sure you're uh, thinking about it, listening to everybody else's suggestions when you're working uh, with this moderation card. Watch out for people trying to um, not um you know pull their weight so uh there might be somebody who's um you know not really working uh to the best of their ability and capacity and this could be um causing a little bit of, of problems and delays so you know bring everybody up to standard um and make sure that you know you uh, eliminate people that are not serving you or are not working to the best of their ability if you're putting in all that hard work make sure you're getting equal equally um people that are working just as hard as you and not uh, sabotaging the whole thing so you know just watch out for people be aware that you know people could be working against you in the background uh, and you know try and get um rid of that kind of energy from your life during this period you've got the page of cups so you can see there are two there are two cards here of a trickery you've got the trickster shapeshifter and a spy so watch out somebody's carrying tails and they're sabotaging all your efforts you know trying to bring you down or trying to uh um you know uh put a sp um, spoke in the wheel as they say so they're not working to the best of their ability and they're causing a lot of uh, problems they might be saying things carrying tales uh with this page of cups uh and uh you you need to know that this is going on you've got the little devil here so this person is uh not really very nice uh they might be a water sign and they're working against you because so this could be a, a cancer scorpio or pisces somebody that is out there to get you or doesn't particularly like you uh, causing a sabotage so just be aware that this could be the case that is going on um, in November but there is victory anyway because you've got the chariot card so whatever you have uh, been doing even though people are not working to the best of their ability and causing problems for you there is an important achievement and you just need to make sure that you're practicing a lot of self-discipline uh, and willpower uh, there's a lot of public recognition that comes in so whatever project you're finishing the one that you start in October ends up being very very successful you are the one that's been in charge of it so you need to rope in all the people that you're working with and make sure that everybody's on the same um, page as far as the work goes and there will be an achievement over here in November and a lot of public recognition so finally in December we've got intuition we've got child wounded we've got the eight of wands over here and we've got a release so um, it looks like you need to uh, follow um, you know, your own instincts and uh, do things according to the way you decide you want to do it. You need to be in charge. And since you have taken on a role of leadership in this last uh, six months of the year, you need to be the one uh, that goes by your gut instinct. You've got the child wounded over here, which says... Um, 
opens uh, the learning path of forgiveness. So somebody might uh, you know, not have been working well with you and uh, might have caused a lot of problems. And uh, this is uh, something that you need to um, address. Uh, you might need to forgive them and move on uh, because maybe they're holding you back. So you've got the Eight of Wands over here. This is also a very quick moving energy. It says fleeting force. You've got Mercury in Sagittarius over here. So a lot of uh, maybe learning coming in over here with this Mercury. Sagittarius talking about expansion. So new concepts coming your way, new communication coming your way. Um, you know, and you need to um, accept this and uh, you know maybe go with the flow. You need to quicken your pace really. Um, so things coming to a head, a lot of information coming to a light over here with this mercury as well. Um, it might be uh, you know that you have to work pretty fast. Uh, you can see these uh, lightning rods coming your way. So you probably have to work pretty fast and get things done. Um, yeah, extremely rapidly. Uh, so there might be some travel as well uh, involved with this eight of wands. Then you've got release over here, so the end of a phase of a situation, spiritual transformation, time to move on. So something coming to an end over here, news coming in very, very quickly. With the release card, it looks like you're starting a new cycle over here. So it looks like your project now comes to an end and you have to start doing something different. Um, whatever you've been working on for the for most of the year, uh, it seems like you have the achievement and now it's time to make decisions and move on. You might end up uh, getting a lot of information regards with uh, to regards with this because you've got the Eight of Wands over here and you've got Mercury over there. Um, so that always talks about communication. So a very rapid communication is coming in and this ends the situation. Uh, whatever happens, that phase is now finished and you start something new. So uh, make sure you're going by your gut instincts right through all of this. And you know any kind of problems that you have, you have to just forgive and move on really in December. So that is the... Um, the read for the year and um, please don't forget to watch your um, uh, work and your love readings for more complete picture and um, don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you um, thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye